Did you know that the Venus flytrap, a carnivorous plant, can count the number of times its prey touches its sensor hairs? This mechanism helps it distinguish between living prey and false alarms like raindrops. The plant requires two touches to close its trap and additional touches to begin digesting its prey. This fascinating adaptation ensures the plant expends energy only when there's a real nutritional benefit. Did you know that the planet Mercury has a very eccentric orbit and experiences drastic temperature variations? Despite being closest to the Sun, its slow rotation means that its surface can experience extreme temperatures, ranging from minus 173 degrees Celsius at night to 427 degrees Celsius during the day, or about minus 280 to about 800 degrees Fahrenheit. Mercury's thin atmosphere cannot retain heat, leading to these significant temperature swings. This makes Mercury one of the most extreme planets in our solar system in terms of its environment. Did you know that bioluminescence, the production and emission of light by a living organism, is a widespread phenomenon in the marine environment? Creatures like jellyfish, certain types of fish and microscopic plankton use bioluminescence for various purposes, including defense against predators, luring prey and communication. The light is produced by a chemical reaction within the organism. This enchanting natural light show plays a crucial role in the mysterious and dark world of the deep sea. Did you know the human eye is so sensitive that, under the right conditions, it can see a candle flame from up to 14 miles away? This incredible sensitivity is due to the eye's ability to focus light onto the retina, which contains rods and cones that detect light and color. The eye's design and the brain's processing power work together to interpret the light signals as images. This level of sensitivity is remarkable for navigating and understanding our environment. Did you know that the Gaia hypothesis, proposed by James Lovelock and Lynn Margulis in the 1970s, suggests that the Earth functions as a self-regulating complex system? This hypothesis posits that the biosphere and the physical components of the Earth, such as the atmosphere, cryosphere, hydrosphere and lithosphere, are closely integrated to form a complex interacting system that maintains the climatic and biogeochemical conditions on Earth. The theory has inspired research in fields like Earth system science and global ecology. It underscores the interdependence of life and the environment highlighting the intricate balance that sustains the planet. Did you know that the Ulm, also known as the human fish because of its flesh-colored skin, is a blind amphibian living in the caves of Europe? This creature can live for over 100 years and it's entirely adapted to a life in darkness, relying on other senses such as hearing and smell to navigate and find food. Ulms can go for years without food thanks to their slow metabolism. Their unique adaptation to a subterranean lifestyle makes them a subject of significant scientific interest, especially in studies of evolution and adaptation. Did you know that the concept of zero as a number was not always known in mathematical history? It was first used in ancient India, and from there it spread to the Arab world and then to Europe. The symbol for zero, a dot, under numbers was used in India as early as the 6th century and the concept of zero as a number in its own right revolutionized mathematics. It allowed for the development of algebra, calculus and the binary number system which is the basis of modern computer operations.